Welcome back. You look ready to get the most from your Globe Hall ST. We'll cover the functions of your e-bike systems in a little more depth, share some details on how to maintain your bike for the long haul, and dial it in for the perfect fit. Let's start up here on the control screen. The display shows you the assist modes. Lower modes deliver less power, making them more economical, while still being plenty powerful to get you in the bike around town. The higher modes deliver more power, which is good when you are carrying more cargo. To maximize efficiency, pedal in the lowest mode you feel offers enough power to get you up to your cruising speed. Using modes 4 and 5 when not carrying cargo might get you up to speed a little faster, but spends much more battery when it's not really necessary. That extra power is best used with a loaded bike, making it easier to accelerate from a stop when carrying more weight. RNG displays the estimated mileage range based on the current mode and how much battery remains. This is a basic estimate, since it does not know how hilly or windy it is, or how much cargo is on the bike. The range will change as the mode is changed, and as the battery level drops. Use it as a guide, not an absolute truth. Play it safe. Get home in less miles than the RNG display if you want to avoid pedaling that bike all by yourself. The default setting for the display is in miles. It is possible to change to kilometers. That can be adjusted in the app. We'll show you that later. Your battery level is displayed in the lower right corner. Full three bars are displayed from 100% down to 71%. Once the battery gets below 40%, you'll only see one bar in the battery icon. Then that bar will flash once it's below 10%. There will be no bar below 2%. The display is powered by the bike's battery. Your bike has a couple additional functions if you download and use the Globe app. You just need to have the bike turned on to connect to the app. Tap connect and your bike's unique code appears. Select it. You can see all the same information in the app display and change modes here too. Prefer to set the display to kilometers? You can do that here by going into settings in the upper left. The app offers an added security feature, a remote e-system lock. Tap the lock icon and create your pin to lock the electronics. Don't forget that pin. You'll need it to unlock the bike. You can also do over-the-air firmware updates in the app. Go to Menu, Setting, Bike setting, firmware. Follow these tips for the longevity of your battery. Avoid topping off your battery. Do not charge it if there is more than 70% in the tank, full bars. If you need to park the bike for more than a month without riding it, leave the battery around 50%. Do not store the bike with a full battery. Same goes if you remove and store the battery separately for more than a month. Only have around 50% charge and store it in a cool, dry place. When charging, plug it directly into the wall outlet. Avoid using an extension cord. And when it's fully charged, you should unplug the charger from the bike and from the wall. Regular commuting can be a little dirty and you might not even notice the dust and grime accumulating on your globe. Easiest upkeep is to just use a dry cloth to clean off dust and road grime periodically like once a month. If you are adventurous and got your bike really dirty, you will want to use a bucket and a washcloth or brush. Wipe clean anything that needs it, while avoiding getting water directly into electronic components, like the plug port. Do not directly spray the bike's electronic components with a hose. Wipe off all the water with a clean, dry rag. When you love your new Globe, you will want to ride it all the time. If you're commuting every day, your hall's moving parts will need some attention. Maintaining these parts will keep your bike running smooth and quietly and is best for its longevity. You can put the bike up on the kickstand. Make sure the power is off and remove the battery. Get some bicycle-specific chain loop and a rag. Hold the rag on the chain and back pedal so you wipe off the whole chain. Then hold the lube up here and drip it onto the chain while backpedaling again. Lube the whole chain. Then get that rag again and wipe it in the same way one more time. This will clean off the excess loop. If you're riding a lot, do this once a week. If you're riding less frequently, wipe and lube at least once a month. Eventually the chain will wear out and you'll want to replace it. Consider replacing the chain after 2,000 miles. If your brakes get too dirty, they may squeal and get noisy. You can clean the brake rotors with a clean rag and rubbing alcohol. Apply the alcohol to the rag first, then wipe the rotor clean. 
Brake pads can wear out faster based on how fast you ride, cargo weight, and environmental conditions. If they are still making noise after cleaning the rotors, and you've ridden a lot of miles, it may be time to replace them. Want to know how to do that yourself? Check out our detailed video on how to inspect and replace brake pads on your globe. Those big tires have inner tubes in there that hold the air pressure. The tires are puncture resistant, but nothing is puncture proof. Keep your tires pumped up to minimize tire or tube damage. Your preferred tire pressure can vary depending on your riding weight, including cargo and riding conditions. Lower pressures increase traction and comfort, while you'll need higher pressures when there is more weight on the bike. The tires have a pretty wide range, around 15 to 35 PSI. Start with 20 PSI for your initial rides. The tubes will gradually lose a little air, so pump up your tires once a week to maintain your ideal pressure. Your back tire will wear out faster than the front, especially with more cargo weight on the bike. Inspect your tires regularly for any deep cuts and road wear. The center of the tread will flatten out over time. If it's really flat and the tire tread is worn down, it's time to replace the tire. The front tire may last twice as long. If you do puncture the inner tube, it will need to be removed to repair or replace. The front wheel is pretty simple. The rear has additional steps to remove because of the motor and drivetrain. Watch our detailed videos on wheel removal plus tire and tube replacement. Did you try the heel back pedal method? If you can prop the bike up next to something, you can sit on the seat to try this out. While seated, put your heel on the middle of the pedal. If your knee is still bent, raise the seat. If your heel doesn't reach the pedal, lower the seat. You want to have a bend in your knee while pedaling, around 30 to 40 degrees. Why? That's the ideal range for joint safety and pedaling efficiency. Your saddle tilt can also affect your fit and feel on the bike. The saddle should look pretty level from tip to tail. There is a bolt here under the seat that loosens the clamp assembly. If you have soft tissue pressure, you can try lowering the nose slightly. Too much pressure on your hands? Try tilting the nose up slightly. Hall will fit nearly everyone short and tall. Handlebar height is adjustable by raising or lowering the stem in the frame. If you are pretty short, you'll want the stem just about as low into the frame as possible. If you're super tall, you'll appreciate that the stem can come up really high. Just make sure that the minimum insert line stays inside the frame. Set the stem height somewhere in the middle based on your height and how tall you'd like the front end to feel. You can fine tune the reach a little by tilting the bars. Slightly tilting them back will bring them closer for shorter reach. Angling them slightly forward will extend the reach further. Find the perfect fit and reach for the brake levers too. Hydraulic brakes are pretty strong. You don't need to use all your fingers to pull the lever. Two should do it. The lever should be in line with your fingers and forearm. You can also slide the lever clamp over so you don't mush your other fingers while pulling the brakes. And don't forget the reach. Use a small hex key to bring the lever closer to your grip. Lastly, make sure your thumb can easily reach the shifter paddles. You're good to go with your globe. There's still more to come, like customizing your haul with accessories that meet your commuting and cargo carrying needs. Enjoy the ride!